today I'll be bringing you a G class. Actually, a lot of people see my doctor and know. A lot of people were interested in MLG and don't really know the gun for Brian. Don't really know the best setup. Now, my favorite, though, uh, actually, you can check out some of my other videos. I believe I was using this gun. The Remington. I'll get more into detail about why I run it first, what the purpose do for me. But you can watch some, check out some other videos I've done. And you can see that this gun's actually pretty good. I think I have one on break, search and destroy. 28 and 4, I believe, and those guns actually not in that East Sport lobby, so in my, in my opinion, that's actually a lot harder because people can run stalker and things like that, and it's harder to hit them and get more, it's just harder to get into it. No, I, I've ran this class for a very long time, so the muscle break is actually okay. I like the silencer, and a lot of people think you have to run a four grip with the red. Now the Remington with the silencer, if you do happen to run this class, please let us know that because if you run a silencer and a red dot, it actually makes this gun pinpoint accurate almost until you get to uh, just across the map range. Now I've noticed also about this gun, this is more of a mid range gun. This is not really your long range, it's more in the middle. It's a great gun for search and destroy, sitting back in a good location like just where you can kind of scout the map not too far but try to get like up in the middle uh this is also kind of a gun i would say for domination if you're running with an esport team or your team and you're trying to play this is a, not the objective player this is more of you sitting back and keep them off flag uh just for instance octane i realize b is a big spot you'll see a lot of people run a really to up that in both windows across the map, either across from PMTs or uh, in motel or in top body shop. Now, I like uh, the red dot. I have ran this gun without a red dot before. It's actually a really good gun, but the problem is with the red dot, you can actually just see so much more. Like it. I'm very good with my insights. That's all I run on all my guns. As you can tell. I, I mean, I would consider myself very good with it. Uh, so this gun, actually, I really do like the iron sights on it, but the thing is, it's just not the type of gun you want to run with iron sights. Uh, it does do decent with iron sights if the enemy's up close or in the right distance, but when it comes down to a little bit of getting into that far further range, in the middle range, that's when things start to get difficult. Now, I do not run sight of hand on this gun, so that's exactly the point of the P226. P226 is actually a very really good gun if you got a good trigger finger. Uh, with the muzzle brake on it, I'll honestly be any guards face to face with this gun. It's not actually it's a very good pistol to keep. A lot of people think 44 Magnum because its power is all that great. The reform is ridiculous. This gun has a great amount of damage and a great amount of range. And Pretty good accuracy until you get into that middle, further range. I do like to run a frag grenade because if you're playing search and you're the last one alive, most of the time you'll have a, if you have a good team or you just play a good match, you'll have a your teammate may die or something such and that sort, and you'll know where the enemy's at. You can chuck the grenade. Uh, that's really what I like about it. Now, ready up. Uh, I do like to sprint a lot. If you don't really sprint, you want to use this class more of a uh, setback class. I would probably tell you to replace it with. If you're gonna sit back, you would probably be in a high spot. So that's just one point. Uh, probably resilience, or you could actually put on a percussion. Percussions are something pretty good to have on this class. Uh, ready up. Okay. Well, if you do sprint, run ready up because it just, you, I've run this class forever and it does make a huge difference. I've run it without ready up and I've run it with ready up for about a week difference and I can tell a big difference, huge difference actually with the ready up. Alright, now agility. What agility does is, on this class at least, I believe uh, with any assault rifle, 
it's going to drop you down from about 100% running speed to about, it's going to drop you down about 4% or 5%, somewhere in that range, I'm not for sure, don't, you can correct me in the comments or anything like that, but with agility, I believe it increases your speed by like 7%, so this actually decreases the more bullets that like, I guess you'd say if you're running through a location and someone's just shooting from the corner and can barely see you and they just happen to kill you, that's because you're not running agility and that agility will actually decrease that from happening and that's actually when you're playing search and destroy or something like that and you're having to depend on yourself because your team's dead and someone just spots you, this gives you more of an advantage to be able to turn around and clutch the moment. Dead silence, uh, really can't go into that, that's pretty explanatory, uh, that kind of tells itself, so, not really going to go all into that, the same scavenger. Now, a lot of people, you either run focus or you don't, I've kind of noticed that about people, like, you either love it or you don't, but I can guarantee if you don't run focus, try on this class, and I promise it will make you win at least probably 50 more percent of your gun fights depending if it's up close or long range because I realize whenever I come up to an MTAR they're accurate with it like most esports players are. If you're accurate with your guns, which more than likely all your teams you're going to come across are going to be accurate. So like I said, if you don't come up up close, focus is going to make you win 50% more the gun route. I mean your uh, gun maps. Uh, I can actually, if you guys would like, please comment, please sub and like, and give me feedback. Like, if you want me to tell you the routes I run for this class, that I seen the most help, would help me the most, I would be glad to share that with y'all. Now, let's get more into the specialist because these were, that's about the only thing you can run. I don't like to actually, down here you can see, I don't like to run my eighth perk. Because if you do that, you can actually take it off. You know, all them bonus perks come in at 8 kills instead of 10 right there. Depending on what perk you use, it could be 9, it could be 11 kills. But either way, that all depends on how how the level of the perk is. Just for instance, this thing jumps up to 12. Okay, let's get into this. Now, the Remington. This is, I actually do like... For my first one, I would recommend Incognito. I've been running Scavenger. Everything is about set. Now, with Incognito, if you can manage to get four kills, this is more of a domination thing or search thing. Even uh, this does it takes out callouts and callouts are for my team. And, uh, I'd say other teams even the callouts are a big thing in this game. So if the computer player can't see you, that would probably, I would say, reduce um, probably 25% or 50 even, depending if you're in the open or you're in a hallway or something. Probably, it would reduce it a lot from an online player to the actual computer part of the player seeing who we're detecting. So I, mean, I really do like to run incog. The only problem with it is it, it does take three. That's the spot. You're not running all my perks. It just takes up too much room. Now, on the go, it's just, uh, it's, it doesn't take many points. So, that actually does make my bonus come in at 8 kills. And on the go actually does kind of help you because, uh, if you're not sitting back and you just have to go somewhere, it's not a very big, you know, you have to have perk. You can probably replace that with something else. Uh, that's the, of your choice, depending on how you like to run this class. If you would, if you do need help uh, making a class, or like, let's just say this isn't the class for you, because you don't want to sit back, I can actually help you make more, make this, and you love the gun, I can make, help you make this more of a Russian gun, just please comment, I'll, I respond to all comments usually, uh, try to get back to them as soon as possible. Now, after you run new perks for your bonus perks, uh, sleight of hand, uh, that's pretty simple. I really can't go much into that one. Marathon, uh, I'm more, I do like to, sometimes, I'm more, I guess you'd say sometimes I say that, 
and whenever it's just me or a teammate, they tell me like a rush. So that's just kind of a iffy situation type thing. You may need it, you may not to get to the uh, blood zone quicker to get to anywhere. I would. This really isn't uh, objective player for blood zone, but I guess if you just want it came down to it, you were close to it, and time was running out. It's more of that type of deal. Uh, this is usually a defense class on blitz, but in takedown, uh, if you're playing search and destroy and you just don't hand it, you're not dying. But if you do have any of these bonus kills in search and destroy, with the silencer attached and the takedown. Uh, with takedown and silencer attached, they really can detect you and it goes together really well. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't display enemy deaths where the X comes up in scope. Blind eye, that's just, you can replace that with anything, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I really haven't found a perk that goes for one point that is really necessary that I'm not running with these guns, so blind eye kind of seems like a thing for me. Because a lot of times in domination, uh, when I'm playing actually not esport rules, there'll be a lot of paddle cons and things like that. But uh, blind eye really isn't so much of the esport thing. You really don't need that for esport. If I had to replace it, I would probably tell y'all to go. I'm trying to help y'all out here. You could actually. I don't know. Uh, that's a good choice. The resilience, I do have it upon myself in my places sometimes. I mean, you like the. I guess you'd say it's kind of like a nervous knife type deal. deal. Whenever I'm getting shot at, I do like to jump off of my spot once I notice the enemy and start shooting. And if he does happen to get a few shots at me, it would kind of be embarrassing for you to commit suicide on yourself when you probably could have had the clutch. So with my situation, if you do happen to have the same situation about you doing the same type of thing as me, that would probably be a beneficial perk for you. Now, I think that's about everything. Hope you guys like the class. Uh, please enjoy. Give me feedback if you don't like the class. Give me feedback if you do. Uh, if you'd like more classes for a more of an objective player, please get back to me. I will respond. I'm more than likely will be happy to share my classes now. Alright, they got a solemn.